don't know if you're kind of like a as much of like a shut-in hermit as I am, but check, check, check. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's captured both of our voices pretty well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <clears throat> I'm loud. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of curious. Uh, okay, so to bring this in context, uh, this is. The first time we've met in person, you've been on the podcast twice, mm -hmm. and I've listened to your band for multiple years. That's too bad. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, anyway, all I'm trying to say is I'm glad that the show happened. Mm -hmm. It was fucking awesome. I, I've waited so long. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, dude. I, I appreciate it. I'm glad it happened as well. Um, I, I never expected it to be a thing, but uh, I kind of couldn't turn down the opportunity of these two bands, which I... Highly look up to, <laughs> even though like Ghostbots become like friends of mine. It's like they were pretty early uh, for me when it came to like making unrequited music. They were one of the big ones that inspired it. So I was like, well, if there's gonna be a tour that I do with this project, it's gonna be this one for sure. Kind of have to make it happen no matter what. Because <laughs> when he offered it to me, like I had nothing. I didn't have like a band or anything like that. He was just like, if you can make it happen, then the offer's there. And I was like, um, okay. Oh, so you kind of just threw the... the yeah, it was together. all like super like last minute, like just asking friends, like, would you want to go on tour? Yes. Okay, cool. And wow. then the logistics, I was like, I'll just figure out the logistics later. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so when, when did the, he offer you the, the tour? Well, the tour was supposed to happen in November originally before it got postponed. So he probably offered it to me like July. Okay. Okay, so you had some time to work on it. Yeah, I I was blown away by Ghost Bath. I mean, like, I felt, <laughs> I was trying to, like, think of the way to summarize it. It felt like some sort of ecstasy. Like, seeing them, you know, like, people can shit on that band mm -hmm. uh, because of their older stuff, whatever. But, like, seeing them live, it's, like, totally different. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I agree. They're really, really good live. Been enjoying watching it every night. Yeah. So back to the Herman thing. I, I, <laughs> I'm like very curious on why. Uh, I'm very curious on why I've had you on the show multiple times, and I mm. think it might be due to personality. So you, you said you're kind of like a hermit. For sure. Say. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I mean, if anything, like I do like social interaction and everything like that. I just I'm also just like a really really big homebody. Like I just really like being in my my little studio like all day. Like it's perfect for me. But I do like you know hanging out with people. So it's kind of this weird like dichotomy <laughs> at the same time. But uh, yeah, tour has been like really awesome. It's just hard for somebody like that to yeah. just go out and be like, you cannot go back to your room for a month. <laughs> you don't get your bed, you don't get your computer, you don't get like all the comforts and like normal things that you like doing. And on top of that, there's no time to like, I don't know, if I want to just decompress and like watch YouTube, Netflix, whatever. Yeah, you gotta like... It's not actually a whole lot of time <laughs> to do that. You gotta deal with uh, others watching your show. Stop recording or anything, though. Should be good. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, so the homebody thing. So, how, yeah, how do you uh, handle that in tour? That's my question. Do you like just like sheer power of will, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> just like trying to remember that you're gonna be home soon at some point. Yeah. Um, keeping in touch with family and friends. Um, do you ever veer off from the, if you're off from the band? If what? Do you veer off from the band? Like oh, like just try to take a long time yeah. and stuff? If I can, yeah, I will, for sure. It's just like, <clears throat> the way this tour is routed, like, there's a lot, well, it's not, it's not like their fault for routing it this way or anything, but there are like a lot of really, really long drives. And it's like, we're a small band, we're only four people. And so there's just a lot of driving, a lot of like co-piloting. So I don't really have a lot of time to like go off and do my own thing or even like go to the back of the bus and like sit in my bunk and like, you know, just do my own thing. Cause it's like, you know, I got a co-pilot for the guy who's driving or whatever. 
So, well, my biggest question to you is, so this is the first tour of this band, and it seems like you haven't really toured much before. Oh, yeah, no, not really. So do you think, this could be a heavy question, so do you <laughs> think you're going to go back on the road? Come come within the next five years, do you see this as being like a tour-heavy band? Or... Um, yeah, I do. I mean, like, we have one booked for the summer, um, which I confirmed, like, before doing this. So I didn't even really know what I was getting into. Yeah. Um, but we're doing like a short run. It's going to be like two weeks long. And that should be a lot better for me mentally, <laughs> two weeks as opposed to a month. Yeah. And then that'll probably be it for this year. And then I'll just have a lot of time to just kind of like be at home and decompress and really internalize everything and, and think <laughs> about everything that's just happened. Um, and also just work on music. Like I haven't had time to like make music, which is like a huge oh, part of my life. Literally, yeah. when they need a North Star girl, they know it's Paul. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, and then also we started playing shows. And then when the second we started playing shows, like writing just like stopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, damn, like, wait, wasn't that the point of all of this? But some people they want to perform. Yeah, yeah. It's great for those people, for sure. But at the same time, it's cool that you have kind of the control because you're like the solo. Yeah, I, I, I like that, but like on tour, it's like, I don't like it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like tour manager or anything like that. I don't want to be in charge making decisions. And like on tour, I try to be as like, as like backseat as possible. Yeah. You know, like in our van, it's like, okay, well, what do we want to do? Do we want to do this? Do we want to do that? I'm not going to like make the calls or whatever because it's my band. It's like, I don't really care. We don't have time to like do the things I want to do anyway. So <laughs> might as well just kind of, I don't know keep everybody happy for sure but <clears throat> yeah it's just like I need to write music in order to like stay sane like it's kind of what I, what I have always done yeah, to I'll stay see. sane I'll and I just haven't had time to do any of that because logistically tour is just like super go 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 it's like you have to load into the venue at like 2 p.m. and then you have to get out at the you leave the venue at the end of the show at like 2 a.m. almost and then usually you have to drive so it's like <laughs> There's no time to do anything. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah, tough it's for a, sure. It's a trip, man. I, uh, it's really funny to me because I, I worked up to the point where I had opportunities to tour. Mm -hmm. Like I had, um, I've made a lot of friends in the music industry and stuff. And the second I got there, I was like, like, like it's a it's a big commitment, man. Mm -hmm. Like you, you gotta like really evaluate every part of it. Yeah. But when it comes to art, man, like most of it just comes with that here for right? sure. I mean, I'm learning a lot on this tour. I mean, th this was a this was very much a trial run of like being a touring project. You know, I was like, let me just try and make this happen, no matter what. And like it happened, like surprisingly, after everything. Like I didn't even have a band when this tour was offered to me, and somehow like we're here making it happen. So that's huge. <laughs> However, <laughs> moving forward, like there are a lot of like small things that I'm like, I'm gonna have to change this, and I'm gonna have to do this like super differently, and like, and like we need to bring a merch guy because I can't be at merch all the time. That's another okay. thing where it's like that's a big chunk of the day just spent standing at the merch table because we don't have a merch guy. It's me. <laughs> Right, so <clears throat> yeah, and that comes down to a bigger van, like a big yeah, band. yeah, for sure, for sure, a bigger everything. <laughs> but there, there are there are definitely lots of things where I'm like, I can I can delegate a little bit more, and it would be a lot easier on me. So moving forward, we'll definitely do that. But to like fully answer your question, like I think we will like continue to be a touring project. I just don't. It's never going to be like a touring the whole year like type project like some days yeah, yeah. or even like half the year like I can't do that <laughs> so you might, you might come back in like a body bag no yeah I would be done so so if I can do if we can do like three like two week runs a year that's awesome that's what I'm saying man. yeah it's like I'll do that that's like a healthy um, that's 
it's like a healthy balance. Like some bands, I start to look at them and I'm like, what is going on? Some people are built for it. Some people are just built, man. Some people are just built for being on tour. Even like tons of people on this tour package, like we've been talking about it, like, how you doing? You know, we're coming up to the end of the tour. Like, what do you feel? And I'm like, I'm ready to go home. (laughs) Like, I'm exhausted. And some of them are like, I could go another month. And you're like, and it's like, what? (laughs) Have you ever thought about um, something? uh, Okay, have you ever heard of like punk tours, but houses? Like, so they'll basically put up. Yeah, they'll just play at people's houses. Yeah, they'll just put like a post and they'll be like, hey, we're going on tour and we need some houses. Yeah, yeah. Would, Would you do that? Play houses? Yeah, like I wouldn't a, play a house it. tour. No, never. <laughs> no, no, no. It sounds awful. <clears throat> it sounds really cool for like punk music for sure, but not for what I do. Like, um, one of the things that I would really like to have on the next tour is like a sound guy, because the, the headliners have a sound guy, and okay. he's like incredible. And having to deal with like whatever sound guy the venue provides every night is like always like you're just playing Russian roulette with how bad your sound is going to be. Um, and like, if I was just playing house shows, like the sound would be terrible. And like what we do, it like relies pretty heavily on like being mixed well, you know, there's a lot of like the backtracks have like all the orchestral stuff going on. The vocals yeah. need like, you know, reverb and like, there's just a lot. So it's very layered and it needs to sound good. And that's really important to me. So like the whole like grungy, like house tour thing, I couldn't do. Not, <laughs> not with this project. Yeah, not with this project. No. It, it does sound like fun, but uh, yeah. It yeah, no, for sure. It'd be it would, fun. Yeah. It would have to be a certain type of fun. Oh. Yeah, it's just not this. Oh, yeah. okay. so, uh, so did you get to explore anything of Rochester? Nothing. I don't really get to explore much of any city. No. Not really. I should have gave you my bike, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, you sleep good tonight. It's nice having like days off on tour because then you really get to explore whatever city you're in. But we've only had three days off in 30 days. And our day off will be in like Idaho. And there's not really a lot to see. Yeah, I was about to say Idaho is probably the worst place. Yeah. They're like dropping me off in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, we played in Boise, which is like kind of a college town. So there's like a downtown core and there's things to do if you want to do that. But um, yeah, it would be really nice to have days off in like the cities that we really like. Like San Diego is like my favorite city ever. Cool. If I could have a day off there, that would be awesome. So I put a request in. Yeah, I will awesome. not do this tour unless we, I get a day off. Oh, dude, it's just such a good city. Like... We went to the beach and just like stood there, like looking into the ocean. I kind of wanted to cry. I was like, "This is so beautiful. I love this." Yeah, I can't do this every day. But that'd be awesome, man. Yeah. Well, it sounds like you uh, you like the tour, so I think. Oh yeah. I'm thinking next year I might might see. I don't know Rochester. Maybe I don't know. What? I said I don't know if it'll be in Rochester. Oh, like a yeah, I know that. Well, the next tour, I don't think we're coming to Rochester, but I'll come back. I'll go anywhere. <laughs> I don't really care. Toronto? Toronto? That's not far. It's like an hour away. Yeah, we're playing Toronto tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's the place called? Venue? Yeah. Uh, I think it's Velvet Underground. Okay. That's awesome. So you're, where, where in Canada are you actually located? Uh, we're in Ottawa, so it's in between Toronto and Montreal. So how far is that from the, uh, the border? Of an hour. An hour. Oh, Niagara Falls. Yeah. Um, Canada's fucking huge. Well, Niagara Falls is closer to Toronto, mm-hmm. for sure. But um, in Ottawa, like we're an hour from Ogdensburg, New York, so we can cross. Like that's what we did when we f- were first crossing into the U.S. We're like, let's get this border crossing out of the way and just come <laughs> and cross an hour out from our from our city. That's good. So, yeah, we're super close for sure. But uh, Ottawa, there's not a whole lot going on. It's a government city. It's the capital of the country. People don't really know that. But <laughs> there's not a lot going on there. So we are playing there after Toronto. Should be fun. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to think what else would be fun. For Ottawa. I mean, uh, what's the best food that you have in Toronto? Oh, man. Come on. 
We've been we've been trying really hard to hit like good food spots everywhere. You said now you said you're a vegetarian. Or yeah. Yeah. Yep. Vegetarian or vegan? Vegetarian. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Uh, since I was 18, so about a decade. And you're 20. 28. 28. Yeah. It's been a while. And it's really funny because <laughs> ever since I talked to you, I just. Uh, Known you as the band, not William. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not William. So I walked up to you and I'm like, you're the vocalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Okay, so why did you want to do that? Was it for the aesthetic? You didn't want to be the William guy, or did you just. Why did I do like the anonymity? Yeah. Um, I think because, yeah, I, d I don't want to be myself, <laughs> for one. Um, there's a lot of reasons, I guess. For two, it's kind of a staple in the genre, right? Yeah. The whole one-man black metal project thing, you don't know who the guy is. I always like, liked that growing up. thought it was really cool. I added like, a little mystique, and it makes you want to like dig more into who they are. So that on top of like not wanting to you know, be myself and just let the music speak for itself, I think was, um, those are the main two reasons. But it's... I didn't try like really hard to like cover my tracks when it came to like <laughs> hiding who I was. Like it was actually pretty easy to figure it out yeah. if you really looked for like five minutes. Um, you know the band Sleep Token? No. Okay. <laughs> They're anonymous and like it bugged me so much. I spent like three hours looking online to try to figure out who it was. Finally did. But <clears throat> that's like the fun part of anonymous projects. You're like, who is this person? Like, I need to know. Now, now they're gonna know. There's no anonymous. <laughs> yeah. Person. Well, well. Now I'm on tour and like, my <laughs> face is everywhere and like I'm, I'm introducing people with my name. So it's like, you know, <laughs> I, I don't care about the anonymity that much anymore. I think it's fine. Yeah, that's cool. But I also just <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Another thing is this, dude. I've talked to like five people about your band at the show and. Every single one of them said the name differently. Said the name different. Yeah. How the fuck do you say it? And wait, the way that I said it is unrequited. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. You should see. I don't know what you should see uh, the different ways the venues have been spelled. <laughs> So like when we get when we show up to a venue and we get like a time slot or something like we'll get like set times like a piece of paper that says like goes back at this time how are at this time um, like the other night it was requited <laughs> we were just requited and sometimes it's just like the word is completely mangled and it's just nothing. It, it, it resembles no. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's literally just like today. Today it was actually um, it was like Anek Viv. That's what it was. Yeah. I can prove it too. Whoa, yeah. I mean, this place is a trip. He actually wrote it out. Um, he wrote it out on paper. But yeah, that's us right there. Anek Viv. <laughs> it's, it looks like some ingredient to put in that food. So that's been really fun. Um, I've even done like a couple of interviews here and there where they introduce the band name incorrectly and I just don't, I just don't say anything. I'm just like, all right. <laughs> How do they pronounce it? Um, it's like the most common thing is people just pronouncing the V. Yeah. So then you're like, oh. On rec food or something is usually yeah, yeah that's it's that's, usually what I get. That's the term. That's the way that people or uh, unrequited is another one. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear, I hear unrequited and unrequited a lot. Damn, so I got it right. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I picked a tough one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, how did that word come about? And like, what does it mean? Like, what unrequited just means like of a feeling not returned by someone. So usually like unrequited love. Yeah. Yeah. A feeling not returned. Yeah. Okay. And it was, I don't want to go deep, but did this have to do with that? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really talk about like meanings or, or anything too much really, but I just felt, I just liked the word a lot and it felt like a lot of feelings that I had towards the world were not returned to me. <laughs> as kind of, yeah, extra and dramatic as that is. I just feel like a 
feel like there are a lot of things that people don't understand about me. And uh, that's fine, obviously. I think I'm just kind of a weird guy. But what are, <laughs> we'll, we'll end this off with, what are two things that people don't know about you? People don't know? Just like, that could be anything, I think. Yeah, two things that people don't know about you. Two things that people don't know. Um, I'll probably just Other than you're just a weird dude. Yeah, I'll probably just pick some weird, some something interesting. Um, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Okay. Love Pokemon. Do you have any tattoos, Pokemon? No, I would love to, though. Which one would you get? Which one would I get tattooed on me? That's tough. Um, in what place in your body? <laughs> <laughs> it would probably be a little hidden. You could chew on your ass cheek. No, <laughs> I don't think I would do that. Do like a Gengar or something kind of cool. Okay. Or like big, big, super intense giant Gyarados on my back. Big, big arm uh, sleeve. Just a bunch of Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen some pretty good ones, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I would maybe get a tattoo artist to make something to turn a Pokemon into something like really intense that looks like a tattoo. Okay. It's like derived from the Pokemon, but like it's like a new creature. That would be cool. <clears throat> I don't think I would get like the sprite from the game like on my arm. <laughs> Dude, I've seen some really cool Harry Potter uh, full sleeves. Oh but yeah. I'm like, man, I'm not a huge. I don't know if I want Harry Potter on my arm, but that's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't want. I don't know if I want Ron Weasley on my arm. Yeah, definitely <laughs> not. Like a huge castle with like a, what? What's that guy's name? Schmeagle. Oh, Smeagol from Lord of the Rings? Fuck, wrong guy. That would be sick. Yeah, wrong guy. But oh, anyway. so it was Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings would be cool, for sure. Yeah. Big fan of that, too. So you do the Pokemon sleeve? Yeah, I don't, know. I don't think I would. Maybe I'll do, like, a leg sleeve. Okay. All right, so next time I see it. I'll, tr I'll try and have that done. Yeah, get that It's expensive. Done. I do want to get more tattoos, but they're expensive, and I can't justify spending the money on them because there's so many other things I need to spend the money on. Hey, tattoos are, I, I, I tell people, uh, people ask me about tattoos and I'm like, man, I'm like, I'm the person where if I get one, give it a year that every part of my body will get a tattoo. I'm kind of like that too, but like, it's still the money part. It's still the money part that's, <laughs> that's holding me back. It's like, I went, I went in pretty hard with this, like money wise. Yeah, those look great. And like, I would love to keep going, but like, this was so expensive that I, I'm just like, what? It's gonna take two a couple. Grand? Two grand? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was a little more. It was like twenty. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's worth the two grand, dude. I've yeah. seen some work. Dude, I've that, seen some. That's the thing is, I'm only gonna get tattoos that are worth it. I'm if, only gonna get the expensive ones. If you're gonna get a tattoo, make them look good. Mm -hmm. This is a cover up too. Where? On the roast? Yep. There's uh, some writing here. It's uh, probably the guy's girlfriend's name. No, it was like song lyrics. It was dumb. Who <laughs> was the song lyrics? <laughs> no. Come on. <laughs> oh, no. That's not this bad. <laughs> okay, well, let me just let me just say, off the record, I'm glad you got the Lady Gaga lyrics pulled off the roof. The what? The Lady Gaga yeah, lyrics yeah, pulled off Yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, just photograph lyrics or whatever. From Nickelback? Yeah. That's no, what it was. No, no I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was look at this photograph. I was gonna say it's gonna sound real funny, but that was my first concert. I'm not gonna lie, Nickelback is kinda good. <laughs> <laughs> you like Nickelback? <laughs> Dude. Not really, but like the the early stuff, like when I was a kid, uh, my parents bought me the All the Right Reasons album. Yo. And oh. there are so many good pop songs in that, it's incredible. Like, Saving Me, like, um, Animals was, was kind of gross. Yep. It was kind of gross. And the funny thing about Nickelback is the first concert I went to, I see this dude with blonde hair shooting beers. He had a, they had a beer cannon, and they were just shooting it into the Oh, crowd. Nickelback concerts must be, like, unhinged. Yeah, it, well, it was just, like, hilarious, because, like, beers are getting shot in the air, and like my brother, he smoked pot a lot nowadays, but that was his first uh, smell of it. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, because like the lawn was like covered in fucking pot smokers. Mm. And we got beer shooting all, all over. It was like a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's like Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, 
this is a goddamn movie, man. But, okay, so the last thing. Um, one other thing that people don't know about you. Oh, yeah, one of the things. Um, man, I gotta think this one out. What's something people don't know? Don't, don't make it about music. Make it personal. Yeah. I'm like, what do I do with my free time? It's mostly music. Um, hmm. I'm drawing a pretty big blank here. People know, people know a few things. I okay, guess your favorite point. vegetarian meal. Um, it would probably be kind of boring, I think. So, when you were talking about best food we've had on tour, um, when we, as soon as we got into the south, it was like tacos for like a week and a half. That's all we ate. How, no, how did you do it? Vegetarian? Did you guys really yeah, just like vegetable tacos, like beans and like cheese and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Um, incredible. Oh my god. Like every city we were just hitting like small taco trucks, yeah. which like, I don't know if that really exists here. Because like in Canada, there's like no, there's none of that. There's no like little taco trucks or anything like that. I was going to say, what does Canada have for food? <laughs> uh... Similar to here. It would be pretty similar to here, I think. Huh. Yeah. So you just... Damn, you guys were just eating beans on tour. That's a rough ride. So much. <laughs> yeah, but the tacos were so good. So uh, tacos is, like, definitely a really big one for me. Because, like, you can make some pretty intense vegetarian stuff with tacos, for sure. In Indian. Dude, Indian vegetarian? Yeah, yeah, oh. absolutely. That's super true. I haven't had Eddie on this tour, though. Yeah, that will upset your stuff. That, yeah, um, I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. That was my first time. Yeah. But, but yeah, tacos are huge. And like, I, I don't really know a whole lot about like this area, like anything east. Oh my god, he's walking his cat. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah>. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. I, yeah, cats. Yeah, I haven't. Either. I mean, I've saw, I saw pictures of that. Holy shit, that's awesome. Do so you have a cat at all? Yeah, I got two. I'm gonna mail you a fucking leash. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh... I mean, um, they go out in the backyard. Like, they just they just hang out and walk around. It's you, like fenced in. You're telling me you want to walk with a cat? I would, yeah, 100%. I don't know if they would be into it, though. They're kind <laughs> of scared. I feel like cats, yeah, it just depends on. The personality. My grandma, it was a cat that just wandered her backyard for like a year. And all of a sudden, she's just like, all right, I'm going to move into the house. Oh, it was like an entirely an outdoor cat? Yeah. And Jeez. It became an outdoor cat. Huh. So. Interesting. Yeah, our cats are like super scared of outside. Um, they really like going out in the backyard, but they're like very hesitant of like everything. And they're looking around and when they hear a noise, they like run back inside. So, yeah, it's good to have because like most people's cats, like as soon as they get an opportunity to go outside, they're just gonna book it and like not come back. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thankful. It's like my dog, dude. Yeah, your dog? Oh, I have a dog. He'll just like leave. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to chase my dog twice. Jeez, that's crazy. Yeah, my dog. It's funny because you would think as a animal, you have an AC room, you have heat. Racy, you got food, you got everything you need to be happy, and they want to fucking run away. Yeah, that's what I'm, <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. I'm like, I'm like, Kelly is my, my dog's name. I'm like, Kelly, trust me, you don't want to leave. You will not survive for a day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I, I wish you the best. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, my cats are so bad. I'm like, I'm trying to picture them as like hunters in the outdoor world, and I'm like, you are. Terrible. You're so fucked. You're so fucked. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah? Cool. That stupid goddamn phone. Anyway, I got it. Um. Sweet, man. Hell yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you in person. Yeah, of course, man. And I, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope to see you, uh, Next time.
Oh, they love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you live in Oh, yeah.